As the cold waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic Ocean envelop the remote shores of Alaska, Greenland, and Canada, a unique and prized commodity lurks beneath the surface, the snow crab. Known for its delicate sweet flavor and tender texture, this seafood delicacy has become a significant part of the region's fishing industry. But the road to harvesting these precious creatures is far from easy. In this video, we will dive deep into the world of snow crab fishing, exploring how experienced fishermen battle the harsh conditions, how they use traditional and modern techniques, and the unexpected challenges they face, including environmental changes that threaten this valuable resource. The snow crab lives in some of the coldest waters on the planet, where temperatures are constantly below 4 degrees Celsius. These crabs have a small body with long, thin legs and an orange, light brown, or red shell. They thrive at depths ranging from 70 to 1,200 meters, mostly in shallow, muddy or sandy areas. As a result, fishermen often face treacherous waters and volatile weather conditions while bringing in their catch. To make matters even more difficult, the regions where snow crabs are found are prone to some of the highest tides in the world. With tidal fluctuations exceeding 10 meters, 30 feet, in places like Dillingham, Alaska, and Kitchak Bay, navigation becomes a dangerous and unpredictable challenge. Fishermen risk damage to their vessels, especially as snow crabs live in shallow areas where large boats can easily run aground. Yet, despite these risks, the allure of the snow crab's sweet and succulent meat keeps local communities involved in the fishing process year-round, typically from March to December. The snow crab fishery is unlike any other. Fishermen in these regions, like the ones in western Greenland and Alaska, use traps known as pots. These traps, baited with squid or fish, are carefully lowered to the seabed where they remain for several hours. Snow crabs enter these pots, but due to their design, they cannot escape. One crucial aspect of snow crab fishing is ensuring that the ecosystem remains healthy. Fishermen are diligent in following sustainable practices, only mature crabs are harvested, while juvenile males and females are released back into the ocean. This careful selection helps maintain the balance of the population for future generations. One of the most popular sustainable methods in snow crab fishing is the use of pots. These specially designed traps allow snow crabs to enter but prevent them from escaping, ensuring that only mature crabs are harvested while minimizing the risk of catching juvenile or egg-bearing females. Crab pots, these traps are baited with squid or fish and lowered to the seabed, where they are left for several hours to attract snow crabs. After being hauled up, the crabs are sorted by size, and juvenile males and females carrying eggs are released back into the ocean to ensure the sustainability of the population. Minimal impact on the seabed, since the pots do not require disturbing the seabed or disrupting the habitat of other marine species, they have less impact on the marine ecosystem compared to other fishing methods, such as bottom trawling. Another key factor in ensuring sustainability in snow crab fishing is sorting the crabs after capture. Only those that reach a minimum size are retained. This ensures that juvenile crabs are given a chance to grow, reproduce, and contribute to the population. Releasing undersized crabs and egg-bearing females, snow crabs that are smaller than 10 cm or females carrying eggs are released to protect future populations. This conservation measure helps maintain the stability of the ecosystem and ensures that future generations of crabs are healthy and viable. In addition to using pots and sorting the crabs, another essential element of sustainable snow crab fishing is regulations on the number and timing of harvests. Governments and environmental authorities in the countries with snow crab fisheries impose strict regulations on how many crabs can be caught and when they can be harvested. Catch limits, fishermen are only allowed to harvest a certain number of crabs each season. This prevents overfishing and ensures that the crab population remains viable for future generations. Harvest timing, some areas also impose restrictions on when crabs can be harvested to avoid disrupting the crab's spawning seasons. This helps protect other species in the ecosystem from being harmed by premature harvesting. As the world faces the consequences of climate change, the snow crab population has been put to the test. Unprecedented marine heat waves in 2018 and 2019 led to a dramatic decline in the snow crab population, 
causing the Alaskan snow crab fishery to be closed for the first time in history. This devastating decline was primarily attributed to the increased metabolism of the crabs due to rising ocean temperatures, leading to starvation and a lack of available food. But what does this mean for fishermen? It means fewer crabs are available to catch, reducing income and threatening the livelihoods of thousands of fishermen. Scientists have attributed the decline to several factors, including the increase in water temperatures that directly affected the crab's ability to thrive. The future of snow crab fishing now depends on how the industry adapts to these changing environmental conditions. However, these sustainable fishing methods are facing a major threat from climate change. Rising ocean temperatures, shifting currents, and unpredictable weather conditions are affecting the development of snow crabs. Water temperature and crab metabolism, as water temperatures rise, snow crabs metabolism increases, requiring more food to survive. This leads to food scarcity, making it harder for crabs to thrive, which in turn affects their ability to reproduce. Loss of Habitat Climate change also causes the crab's habitat to shrink, reducing the area where they can live and increasing competition for space among marine species. This may reduce the crab's ability to survive in the wild. Fishermen play a crucial role not only in harvesting snow crabs but also in protecting the environment where the crabs live. They use both traditional and modern techniques to optimize their catch while minimizing environmental damage. Preserving sustainable traditions, the fishing methods passed down through generations help fishermen maintain the balance between harvesting and protecting. Experienced fishermen strictly adhere to sustainable practices to ensure that this valuable resource is not depleted. The future of the snow crab industry depends on the balance between sustainable practices and the ongoing battle against climate change. As the world watches, fishermen in Greenland, Canada, and Alaska continue to fight for the survival of their livelihoods, ensuring that snow crab remains a prized delicacy on tables around the world. In the face of unpredictable seas, changing tides, and rising temperatures, the fishermen of the North Atlantic and Arctic Ocean will continue to work tirelessly, ensuring that the delicate balance between man and nature is maintained, allowing future generations to savor the sweet taste of the snow crab. The snow crab industry is an important sector not only for the economy of the coastal regions but also for maintaining the balance of the marine ecosystem. However, to ensure the sustainability of this industry, fishing methods must go hand in hand with environmental protection. Climate change and pressure from overfishing threaten the survival of snow crabs, but if sustainable methods are continuously implemented and improved, this industry can continue to thrive and provide this valuable seafood for generations to come. Maintaining this fragile balance requires cooperation between fishermen, authorities, and environmental organizations, ensuring the protection of not only snow crabs but also the marine ecosystem for future generations.